people, Uncle Hotep back at it again. What the hell that was? Anyway, it's uh, it's Summit Week. I think Trump is on his way to uh, Singapore. Dennis Rodman is on his way to Singapore. <laughs> you know, I, I say it's just funny that Dennis Rodman, but it's not because, you know, we all know he's a CIA agent. <laughs> what can you do? I hate <laughs> he's the deepest undercover that you'll ever get. <laughs> He'll never suspect. Um, you know, I was listening to Reuters. And, uh, you know, there's talk, you know, I mean, they want me, Kim wants McDonald's and everything else that, that American corporations are chomping at the bit. They get some, uh, a piece of the North Korean pie. You know, Reuters, Reuters, Reuters try to downplay it. That's one thing, you know, I, I don't watch Reuters as I used to, as much as I used to. I still try to, maybe once a day, they might have a, just to get a general idea of what's going on, but... They've got a heavy bias, you know. It's crazy. I would you, you would think Reuters would have, you know, a, a a pretty unbiased opinion, but they're pretty biased. They're really bad. Um, but uh, they were saying that it might not necessarily go to America. Some of the corporations, some of the benefit will go to China. Like China will move in. Like, but I don't understand why wouldn't China do been, have been doing that in the first place? You know what I mean? Uh, I, I guess there's going to be some China, Chinese influence, but I mean, hey, you know, it, it, Kim would be foolish to uh, just just uh, select one side. You know what I mean? You have to have all options open. If I was him, you know what I mean? You know, they were saying if he went the American direction, then he would lose power quickly. But I, I don't know. It, I don't know. Quicker, maybe. And there'd be successions of Kim Jong Un's or something. I, I don't know. But um, dirty heads. Somebody had a shirt, a concert shirt, and said "dirty heads." I, don't know. I think it was concert series. But anyway, back to it. I don't know. I expect. Uh, you know, they've got the thing in in, in their cards, the nuke. So, what concessions can they get for denuclearizing? I mean, of course, all sanctions have to be dropped. But, you know, with the sanction dropping, you know, of course, Trump has to, like, hey, man, we got to get some of uh, our people in there. Business-wise, he has to do that. You know what I mean? We can't just, just like, let them have nukes and no sanctions and, and call it a day. Let's take advantage of it, you know what I mean? And broaden our scope, you know, we get some cheddar out of it, and that's it. You know what I mean? And I have complete faith. President 4-5, Donald J. Trump, will, will, will do so. Watch, watch, we'll watch and learn. But they I think they've already had some some sort of agreement worked out. So, you know, this is gonna succeed, and how well is it gonna succeed? We'll see, but I think they've got some semblance of uh, a deal worked out. Anyway, this is Uncle Hotel. I'll talk to you later. Peace.